land is sprawling in Zambia police barracks seized on 60 acres of land, which was leased to the government of Uganda in 1957 for 99 years. But since 1982, government has not lived up to its contractual obligations to the point that the areas for the ground rent now stands at billions of shillings. Yeah, we are demanding a substantial amount of money and uh, talks, negotiations, correspondences are ongoing. And we are optimistic we are going to reach an amicable understanding, an amicable solution to this, so that we get paid. NTV has seen letters written by the church leaders to the president, but there has been no response yet. The letters were coped also to the Attorney General of Uganda, the Minister of Lands and the Uganda Land Commission. The church says it has run out of patience. As we made contacts uh, to the relevant organs of government, Police spokesperson Fred Nanga admits that police owes the church money. We want to assure the public and, uh, and uh, the Catholic Church that uh, we are not going to go against any of those terms. Officials of Kampala Archdiocese Land Board say they are left with no choice but to cancel the lease and get an eviction order from the course of law. But if it fails, we will, if we must, evict the police. Uh, the, 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 there has been that uh, uh, slight co conflict in the calculation, actually, of the ground rent, uh, but uh, this has called for uh, the uh, technical guidance from the chief government valuer. For 32 years, police and the government of Uganda have failed to meet their obligation of paying ground rent for police barracks at in Zambia, land belonging to the Catholic Church. 8,000 police officers and their families face eviction. The challenge here, who will enforce this eviction? Recently, police, through a public-private partnership, made attempts to lease part of this land to the developers without the consent of the church. Yes, we can still allow police to use that land uh, on the condition that we negotiate uh, these terms. The question here is that does government wish to be at loggerheads with the Catholic Church over property towards 2016 generations? Jingo Francis, NTV.